Hi everybody. Today I'm going to read Believe It or Not, My Brother Has a Monster by Ken Nesbitt, pictures by David Slonim. Hmm. Looks like they might be out trick-or-treating, doesn't it? It happened just last Halloween, the weirdest thing you've ever seen. My brother went out after dark and found a monster in the park. It says park up here. I can see him right behind the trunk of that tree. He led it home and snuck it in, which gave me goosebumps on my skin. To see a monster standing there, those giant claws, that shaggy hair. I had to struggle not to shout. I hope our parents don't find out. That reminds me a little bit of Dr. Seuss. Remember when the kids didn't want their mom to know that the cat in the hat had come? I felt a sense of dread and doom within my brother's darkened room. My pounding heart began to race. And when he saw my frightened face, my brother flew back out and found two hairy spiders big and round. He set them gently on his bed. They crawled up on the monster's head, then crept along its scruffy snout. I hope our parents don't find out. Although they gave me chills and sweats, my brother liked his creepy pets. So when he spied three rats outside, he brought them in. I nearly cried. He dropped them in his dresser where they snatched his socks and underwear. The spiders thought the rats were fun. Who knew that underwear could run? The monster chased them all about. I hope our parents don't find out. <laughs> it's really silly, isn't it? Four toads he captured bounced a ball around the room and off the wall. The rats jumped in to join the fun. The spiders bounced another one. Oh, goodness, what a crazy night. The balls were flying left and right and bonked the monster on the snout. I hope our parents don't find out. He next found five black cats that night. I felt so scared my face went white. The instant that he let them go, they powered on his stereo. The spiders did the monster mash. The toads and rats enjoyed the bash. The monster bopped and flopped about. I hope our parents don't find out. So a stereo is um, where you play music from. And they're all dancing. That's a bash. Like a, a party. He brought six lizards in and these jumped up on his computer keys. The rats and cats then punched a few the toads and spiders tried it too. They poked, they pounced, they pushed, they pried until his new computer died. The monster howled all throughout. I hope our parents don't find out. He then snuck seven bats inside. The spiders ran and tried to hide. They dashed behind some picture frames and dumped the box with all his games. The lizards dove to dodge the bats, who chased the toads and rats and cats, and swooped around the monster's snout. I hope our parents don't find out. There's a lot going on. It's reminding me of the mess the cat in the hat made. The app. The eight black ravens 
that he found flew in and raced the bats around. The spiders, toads, and lizards, too, climbed up to get a better view. The rats and cats all shrieked to see the bats crash into his TV. The monster grinned without a doubt. I hope our parents don't find out. My brother really must like bugs, for next came nine disgusting slugs. He put them down and right away those slimy slugs began to play. They took his skateboard for a spin and that's when mom and dad walked in. Oh no. They instantly switched on the light and this is what they saw that night. So those are the slugs. Let's see what mom and dad saw. Nine caterpillars, not one slug. Eight robins strutting on the rug, plus seven lovely butterflies, six geckos with big friendly eyes, five kittens on the stereo, four frogs all croaking in a row, three mice inside a dresser drawer, two gerbils playing on the floor. There's still a lot of things in the house, but they're nice and tidy, huh? And the caterpillars put themselves in the shape of letters and they wrote the word smile. And looking not the least bit scary, a shaggy dog, just big and hairy. But when he saw our parents frown, he started jumping up and down. He yippied and bounced and acted wild. Our parents patted him and smiled. They're even giving him a bone. The kittens then began to purr. Our parents felt their fluffy fur. They pet the geckos, frogs, and mice, and said the butterflies were nice. The robins chirped a silly song. Our parents whistled right along. They brushed the gerbils, and it's true, they held the caterpillars too. And mom and dad had such a ball, they told him he could keep them all. Wow. You'd think he'd be completely set and never need another pet. And yet today he found 10 snakes, 10 garter snakes for goodness sakes, and snakes he cannot do without. I hope our parents don't find out. Until next time, bye.